Howdy folks, I'm Colonel Sanders and you're not. I made a few videos about 99X and a few videos about the recipe and stuff, the things that we know that are public information. I've also made trolling videos and people might not be able to separate the trolling from the facts. So I'm here to do that and I've done that in one of my last videos, but I want to talk more about the recipe of 99X. Now, in my last video talking about the recipe, we showed the public ingredients between the 90s and now. We're not going to go into those public ingredients. We're going to talk about the history of it. In the 1980s, Kentucky Fried Chicken filed a lawsuit against Marion K. Spices. Thousands of people believe that that lawsuit was because Marion K. Spices was using the original recipe to Kentucky Fried Chicken because they had ties with Colonel Sanders. In the lawsuit, if you look it up, you can read how franchisees at Kentucky Fried Chicken were using Mary and Kate Spice's 99X and they were supplying these franchisees after Kentucky Fried Chicken strictly told them that they do not want to use Mary and Kate Spice's to supply the recipe. At the time they already had Sexton and Stange supplying the recipe and the Mary and Kate Spice's was caught supplying 200 franchisees at Kentucky Fried Chicken. You could read about that and all the coverage that there is about the lawsuit. And it was around 1983 was this lawsuit. So when you look it up, you want to look up Bill Summers, Marion K. Spice's Kentucky Fried Chicken lawsuit, 1980s. Anyway, so a lot of people think that this lawsuit happened because they were using the original recipe and supplying it to Kentucky Fried Chicken outlets because the colonel told them to do it after Kentucky Fried Chicken told them not to do it. There's some truths and there's some not so truths in these. Now, in my TikTok videos, I talk about this, but again, it all gets mixed up, including on shorts. It gets mixed up. Uh, sometimes the algorithm will show you the jokes and then show you the facts after, and you're not sure whether to believe it or not. If you're watching these long-form videos, I do not troll in the long-form videos, so know that now. And if you don't believe what I have to say, look it up for yourself, and you'll know. So that lawsuit happened in the 1980s. Colonel was already dead. From my family, I could fill in the blanks. Colonel Sanders was not happy with the changes that Kentucky Fried Chicken was making to his quality and menu across the country and Canada. In the 1960s, it is reported that it was 1965 that Mary and Kay Spices struck a deal with Colonel Sanders to make a custom blend. That custom blend is 99X, and that custom blend was specifically made for him to serve in his restaurant. Uncle Harley loved this company so much that he believed everybody should try him. Everybody should work with them. He tried his darnest to get Kentucky Fried Chicken to use Mary and Kay to supply the recipe. He believed all the ingredients that they had to supply for any recipe were 100% pure. No substitutions. So this recipe was made, allegedly, according to official records in 1965 for the Claudia Sanders Dinner House. Uncle Harley went around to 200 franchisees at Kentucky Fried Chicken and told them to use this. This is better than what corporates have you use. This is absolute fact. This is how I got that story, him going around, handing around that recipe to the different franchisees. Not the recipe, but the bag mix of it. Got that from my family. That's not reported. They don't know how 200 franchisees got in contact with Mary and K Spices to purchase 99X. The reason why is because Colonel Sanders established that connection. So there is where they got the 99X recipe to 200 franchisees and what sparked the lawsuit. After the Colonel died, you know, they can't hold him accountable. He's dead. He died. They got caught in the 1980s and they filed the lawsuit against them. This led so many people to believe that 99X was the original recipe, but then because they were sued, KFC made them change one ingredient in the recipe of 99X to make it not the KFC recipe. And that is the official story that has spread around the world for anybody that knows anything about 99X. That's not a true story. It has some truths to it, but it's not absolutely true. I talked with Cordell Reed of Mary and Kay Spices. Cordell is Bill Summers' grandson. This company has been in the family for 101 years. He told me that there's a lot of big fish stories out there, unfortunately, but we don't bother addressing them because you know, they just sell spices. That's all they want to do. That's all they ever did. That lawsuit was dropped. They were not sued and then forced to change their ingredients like so many believe. 
99X is 100% what it was the day it was made. Kentucky Fried Chicken, just before Bill Summers died, dropped the lawsuit because they had no grounds to sue. Marion K. Spice's motto was, Anybody, the small man, the big man, we don't care who you are, you can buy from us. So anybody, they didn't care who it was, was welcome to buy their products for whatever, no questions asked. So 200 franchisees want to buy the product. Okay, they don't care, they're going to sell it. They don't have an agreement with KFC not to sell their franchisees. That The franchisees have an agreement with KFC not to buy or supply anything that's not approved by corporate. So the lawsuit was dropped and nothing was forced to change. How KFC handled those 200 franchisees and their violation with their agreements, I have no idea. And quite frankly, I do not care. When it comes to the history of the whole thing, the lawsuit was dropped because it was the franchisees in violation, not Marion K. Spices. So Marion K. Spices has kept their ingredients the same since 1965. But that's another thing. It's not actually 1965 that it started. Cordell told me that his grandfather actually started working with Colonel Sanders, Uncle Harley, earlier. It was more the early 60s, maybe late 50s. They got into contact with each other and they started working on a special blend. He believes that Uncle Harley had to give uh, Bill Summers, his grandfather, had to give him something, some bits and pieces of the recipe. So they came up with a recipe and some claim it as Claudia's. Some don't. Some claim it as just the Colonel's. But the Colonel and Bill Summers came up with this recipe for the Colonel's wife's restaurant. That was similar to Kentucky Fried Chicken's, but different enough that it wouldn't infringe on anything. And that's what it was originally intended for. Now, my family on Lee's side owned a franchise in Tennessee of Kentucky Fried Chicken. And they used, they called it the Colonel's Mix, that the Colonel made sure his recipe was being used at that location. My cousins did not know what 99X was or of its existence. Prior to the 90s, the bag was just a unlabeled gray bag, according to Cordell. There was no labeling on it. You couldn't really tell it was 99X. It's just a bag of seasoning. It's the early days. So Uncle Harley made sure that his spices were used in that restaurant. But they were using 99X. He supplied 99X. And when corporate would come to inspect that restaurant, they would move all the 99X spices out, which they believed was the Colonel's original recipe. And moved all the Kentucky Fried Chicken approved uh, seasonings in. And they would pass inspection and the corporate would not understand why that place was doing so much better than any of the other franchisees in the area. And it was because they were using 99X. Um, we don't know what, what the issue was, what changed at the time when Sexton and Stange was using uh, the recipe. They, they were supplying the recipe. It was a previous agreement with Brown and Massey that they would supply it. I don't know what was different. I I, I don't know. Um, the only thing I know for a fact is garlic powder is in KFC and not in 99X. But Uncle Harley made sure that his seasonings, which 99X is technically his seasonings, was in that franchise so that they were serving something that he approved of. And that's that story. So 99X is not the recipe, but it's a similar recipe with slight differences. Today, McCormick and Griffith Laboratories supply what is needed for Kentucky Fried Chicken's chicken to do what it does. Previous things say, uh, even families say that the recipe's changed. I don't think so. I think the recipe stayed the same. But the suppliers and quality of the seasonings have changed as they change hands. That is my personal belief. So it's possible... Whatever Sexton and Stange was using was a lower grade quality of seasonings than Marion K. Because the video on Marion K's um, website of Colonel Sanders talking, he said that Marion K spices use 100% pure ingredients, no substitutions. So that tells me there that he believed whoever Kentucky Fried Chicken was using after he sold out was using substitutions for his ingredients, which would accurately line up with 
him accusing Brown and Massey of changing his recipe, even if it's a substitution for an ingredient, even if it's a uh, lower grade quality ingredient, but the same name, it's changing it. So he, he did believe they changed it. And then by the late seventies, uh, he threatened to go on Johnny Carson th and tell everybody how bad the food had become. And he was given as one of the board of directors members, he was given more control over the quality at that point. So now they use McCormick and McCormick is a great spice company. I don't, I don't have any complaints about McCormick. We use McCormick spices here in the house. Everybody does. Just about anybody that has a pantry with spices has McCormick branded stuff there. So there's nothing wrong with McCormick. Notice they no longer use uh, Sexton and Stange. They use McCormick. So I think that's a good move in, their, in, in its own. So, um, yeah, that's what that's absolutely what could have changed was the quality or substitutions because Uncle Harley made that comment that he knows that there's no substitutions with Marion K spices and he believes everybody should have Marion K spices and he loved to be in that position to be able to recommend them to everybody. Yeah, I'll, I'll link all the I'll link the sources and stuff in the dis, in the description of this video below here. And on my Discord, we post all the sources on there for anybody who is really interested to dig deep into the KFC lore. All of our sources are in the Discord server, and that's more like a hub for everybody to channel through. And uh, you could communicate, you could talk, and whatever. But there's a lot of information and resources there for you to do the research that I have. But yeah, uh, 99X never change. It's... Uh, not necessarily Claudia's recipe, but it was used for her restaurant. So it's coined as Claudia's Magic Flavor Chicken Seasoning Plus. Chicken Seasoning Plus is 99X plus salt. And they're both made from Marion K Spices and supplied by Marion K Spices. So in that retrospect, like Yahoo News reported it being Claudia's recipe. I believe that because I didn't know much about it. But then I finally got in contact with Marion K Spices and got to know what's what rather than what's on the internet. We had a great conversation about that. And I asked him if I could give this information out and correct things and set the record straight on things. He said, absolutely no problem. So that's what I'm doing. 99X is 100% pure, no substitutions. Same thing that it was the day that it was made. There's a lot of big fish stories out there, a lot of misinterpretations of the stories out there, a lot of misunderstandings. This is the official... You know, story of 99X. Bill Summers, Colonel Sanders created it, special blend by 65 for the Claudia Sanders Dinner House, formerly known as the Colonel's Lady. He gave it to 200 franchises at KFC, said, use this, this is better, whatever sex and the stange is having you use today. And those franchises continue to purchase that spice blend from Marion K. Spices. Colonel Sanders tried to get Marion K. Spices and Kentucky Fried Chicken working together and supplying it. KFC already had their agreement with Sex and Exchange and said, no, we will not have Marion K. Spices supply our seasonings. So Uncle Harley took it upon himself to supply 99X to these other franchises. Maybe in hopes that the franchises running these tests to see what it would be like, would be able to tell Kentucky Fried Chicken corporates or higher-ups, hey, this is actually really good. We think you might want to use them. And there's a lot more history in that. But that's the story of 99X. It's not the original recipe. It's a similar one. Only difference we know is garlic powder. I talked about that in the other videos. And that's it. Now, previously, last year, you'll see videos of me trolling fake ones fake recipes. Um, That's because I wasn't as famous as I was as I am now. I'm not famous on YouTube. I'm famous on TikTok. I wasn't as well known as I am now. And now that I'm as well known as I am, I don't want to contribute to that misinformation. So I'm owning up to those fake recipes from last year that I purposely trolled. People knew that I was trolling them, but I own up that I did do that. And this year we're focusing on the facts. So... That is the information of 99X. Don't believe me? Look it up and know for yourself. Give them a call and ask them about it. Ask them about 99X. They'll sell it to you and they'll tell you their history of it. It's best to get the history straight from the source 
than listening to a bunch of different articles online and people who think they know what they're talking about. Now, hope to see you in my next videos. Um, ciao.